What up, Nitro family? Just cool join again with TTR Racing. Just gonna do a little running today, trying to get this um Pico Boost 21 tuned in. This is the one I sent off the um uh, RW mods, and in the shipping, somehow the the crank on it broke. So he um he did everything to it that I asked him to, and um. Just repinched it, resized the sleeve, and, and piston again, and um, and sent it back to me. And what I had to do is, um, since it's similar to the Reds R5R engine, I had a um a crank from a Reds R5R, and I put it in here. But the crank on the R5R had the Tustin slugs in the crank, so it gave it a little bit better timing. So. Just gonna tune it in. I replaced the broken crank of the Pico Boost 21.21 and put the reds um, crank in there with the Tuscan slugs in the back for better balancing. So it should run a little more efficient than the stock crank that got broken shipping. So just gonna tune it in a little bit and just um, see what it does and just try to get it running smooth. I'm running the Pico Point 21, Pico Boost Point 21, and the Pico 20 99 pipe. So we're gonna get it tuned in. I ran a little bit today, um, and the engine ran pretty good. I couldn't run a whole lot because it had started raining. So look at the buggy. That's why the buggy so filthy. Look at that dirt grass. Look at that because it was all so wet outside. It had started raining on me while I was running, so I didn't really get a whole lot of running footage. But I probably didn't finish up tomorrow. Um, probably not get off work, come run some more and just show y'all how this um, Pico Boost Point 21 runs with that uh, weighted crank you know, that I put in it from that um, from my Reds motor with the tungsten slugs in the crank. So, like I say, y'all, I'm gonna finish up tomorrow and. And um, really can run it kind of hard to see how the engine's gonna react with that crank in it, you know. So, but yeah, another thing I want to show y'all just so if you don't have no air compressor to clean your car off, or sometimes you may need to knock off the heavy stuff, like stuff like this. Just say before you go to the acupressor. Um, little tip. Get a paintbrush. Paintbrush, you brush all this stuff off like this. Little paintbrush. Go a long way. So actually, you can use this without even having to have a compressor. You can knock all that off because the little brush is going to get into the small areas. After you Get you a paintbrush to knock all that heavy dirt off, leaves or whatever when you're bashing. Get you a little paintbrush. Get into them crevices 
and then you go back with your with your air compressor and um you know finish it all off get the little fine dirt off blow that off with the air compressor but with this big stuff we're gonna get it out the way All this stuff out with the paintbrush. Get down in now. Just a little tip. If you don't have no, like I said, it's for the budget racer. You don't have no paint, no um, air compressor. Just go by Dollar General, Lowe's, Dollar Tree. Go in the paint hardware section, get a little paintbrush, inexpensive. Just keep them with you in your pit bag. And um, times like this and it rain and you want to knock some of that dust off, knock some of that grass off, this will do it when you can't, when you not at home by your um, air compressor. This little paintbrush will do a good job. You know, um, knock the dirt off and it. Keep it looking good. See, look at them. That's good them shots. Better than what it was. So, that's just a quick little tip. But yeah, Pico Boost ran pretty good. A little bit I did run it today. Um, like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna. Let's just rain hole up. I'm gonna get back out there and run it a little bit harder and um see how it really gonna react with it with that um weighted crank in there. Like I said, it really should give it a little bit more power and uh, improve the timing a little more with the crank being weighted. So we're just gonna see how it do. Um so yeah, I just want to show my nitro family a little bit, give it a little tip. And ooh, look who look who's over there in that corner. Cutting up. Ooh, that JQ buggy. Cord don't do them like that. Ooh, look at them wheels. These wheels, they really all black wheels. And I put the white disc on top of them to give them that a little bigger um sidewall effect. So Look at that compared to that. So, actually, you can, these are stickers you can put on your wheels to get it, give it that effect. So, just try something out a little different. I usually run all white wheels or either all black wheels, but just try something different. It look good on that buggy, though. Ooh, Corey, don't do them like that, don't hurt them. JQ, she been running good, y'all. Like I said, she done earned her stripes. Now, we, I just got waiting for the body to come in and get her her the um, white, black, and gold body. Get her body to match the truggy. So, she gonna be matched up with everybody else. She done earned her keep, for sure. But she looking good, though. Mm. That's my local racetrack I practice at. The Warehouse Raceway. Up in Helena, Alabama. So. So, yeah, y'all. Just showing y'all what's up. Just remember, treat people the way you want to be treated, and let's have fun in the hobby, and let's bring some new folks in.
black and gold and white don't look bad, especially with the with the spoke wheels. Your little spoke wheels, spoke wheel action today. But yeah, invest in your little cheap paintbrush. You knock off all the little, knock off all the little excess dirt. Keep it looking fresh. Keep it looking clean. If you don't have no air compressor, it's a cheap little paintbrush. Do the trick. So, but yeah, more to come for the point twenty one Pico Boost with the weighted crank, with the Thompson slugs in the crank. So, y'all stay tuned. Yep. Later.